My name is Christina Klitsa, and I'm the research editor here at Wirecutter. Today, we're gonna talk about hair. I'll start by saying, I love curly hair. I love my curls, I love your curls, but every once in a while, you kinda just wanna tame the lion, if only for an evening. The only problem is, it costs about $50 a pop to get a blowout. So after a while, that could probably start to add up. Two newish products that have recently blown up on TikTok promise that sort of wavy, stylish look from the comfort of your own home for a fraction of the price. The two products I'm gonna talk about and test today are the Revlon One Step and the Dyson Airwrap. But what is the big difference between these two? The Revlon One Step costs about $60 and the Dyson costs $550. The other difference between these two tools is how they use heat. The Revlon One Step blows out hot air, similar to a blow dryer, and you kinda just twirl along with the brush and style your hair that way. The Dyson is a little bit different. It uses less heat and actually sort of sucks your hair into a vortex and you kind of spin along with it while pulling downwards. This fancier technology gives the Dyson Airwrap its much higher price tag. Like the One Step, it can combine a rounded brush with a heating mechanism, but unlike the Revlon One Step, this is just one of several attachments that work with the Dyson. But let's put these two tools to the test and see which one actually gives a better blowout. First off, we're gonna start with the Revlon One Step. This is the part where I'm like, I don't wanna go on this hinge date. I don't wanna go on this hinge date. <laughs> yeah, there's a little knot here, which is harsh in my vibe and eating up time. Welcome to my life. That's my shake to know where my part is. <laughs> Ooh. Yeah, she's hot. <laughs> this fact that I've only done that once, this time is a good sign. I still really love this blowout with the One Step. It took me not very much time, it's easy. Instead of holding a blow dryer and a rounded brush and doing this, which is usually heavier and just takes a little bit more eye-hand coordination, this makes it really ergonomic and easy. It's not as perfect as I would like it to be. It's not like that sort of Carrie Bradshaw, Kate Middleton, Beyonce, where it's like perfectly, perfectly wavy, but yeah, this is good. I love this blowout. Next up, I'm gonna be using the Dyson Airwrap. The Dyson Airwrap, like I said, has multiple attachments, but just for the sake of keeping it even, I'm gonna be using the rounded brush attachment to blow out my hair. Okay, now it's officially timer time. I mean, if I had endless money in a huge bathroom, but the Dyson doesn't have a, a hair diffuser, which you need if you have curly hair, so you're missing like the most important tool. My hair itself is hot, yeah. <laughs> but the tool, like you don't tend to burn yourself on it. <laughs> it got stuck in the air. Oh no! You okay? Yeah. <laughs> well, this is good. This is good fodder for the video. <laughs> Do you know this trick? It's your natural part. <laughs> I don't know who told me that, but they were probably lying. But here I am. Okay, guys, I think we're there. See, it's a little bit more defined than what you get with the Revlon One Step. Because the Airwrap has a smaller rounded brush attachment, you can only do so much hair at once, which in turn means that you're doing smaller pieces. So 
you're getting an individual curl here, whereas with the one step, you would be getting that much. But with the other curler attachments, that's where you really see a change in like texture and definition. The air wrap is a lot quieter than the rep on one step, which is great. But do I think that all of this is worth $550? I don't. For $550 versus the $60 Revlon, the Revlon One Step is a no-brainer. It's not the most beautiful, it's not the most sleek, and it's probably not as fun as the Airwrap, but what's a no-brainer for me might not be a no-brainer for you. Maybe the Dyson Airwrap is a fun splurge if you're new to styling your hair and want to get into it. Either way, you can't go wrong with hair. The trick is just to wear it with confidence. Hi, this is Christina from the video. Please let us know what you'd like to see next and don't forget to comment, like, or subscribe.